Right, so my mates just bought a couple of reels. The new Stratic CI4 Plus. Uh, 1000 size FB. Seems pretty good. Just use it a couple of times. We're going to put a new bearing in the handle. See if we can get that spinning a bit better. Carbon fiber drag. And we're also going to put in spool support bearing. Get rid of the bush. See, there's a there's a plastic bush in there, so we're going to put a bearing in there just like the sustains in that have, which should make it roll a lot smoother, smoother drag. It's also got a sustain. Two and a half, two and a half thousand FG. So the drag in that's just the fault drag. So we're going to upgrade that to carbon fiber, and should be a lot smoother. Might give it an oil, I don't think it's had an oil. I'll just use the Quantum hot sauce. Seems to be pretty good, you can see where it is. I used to use a fully synthetic um, sewing machine oil. Still do on my big reels. Bit of the felt, felt washer there already. So I, I spilled these the other day for him, changed a bit of the stuff. So you can see on the inside, I don't know if it'll, I was going to pick that up, but the felt's just coming apart with the grease. I think we've been, he's used that, both of these twice on EPs. Had some pretty good runs, pretty tight drag, so yeah, they're getting worn down a little bit already, which they shouldn't really be doing. So first up, I think we'll do the sustain. So I've got a few tools here I've made up over time. I've done all this to all my reels. Does make them a lot better. Got a couple of reels. All right, to my back. Needed some cotton buds and a bit of paper towel. Clean all the grease off because I use Cal's real grease. Got two versions, one for cold climate and the normal one. Normal one seems to be fine for down here in Victoria. Um, I do run the other one on my trout gear only because I'm up in the hills and the water is freezing. But yeah, apart from that, I have actually I have got it on a couple of reels just to see what it's like and yeah, seems to be seems to be just as good as the other. So I just hooked out the the drag washers, felt drag washers in the metal one. Give that a bit of a clean out. Because the fab the felt seems to break down. Mix with the grease that they use. And um, it sort of clogs the drag. Makes it not smooth. I love a screaming drag. And I usually fish very tight drag pressures. Mulloway, sharks, whatever. I'm in it for the fight. There's the old washers. Give it a quick bit of a clean up. Get all the old grease off. It's actually a bit of a wet day, so Mrs. has taken the kids for a bit of a swim. Or well, one of them, I got one in bed. So limited time to get this done. All right, I'll just get my drags and stuff offline. The bloke I use on eBay, it's pretty good. I've been using him for about mm, four years now, maybe. So there's the new drag washers carbon fiber this is the drag washer grease I use this on all my stuff from like Saragossa 14,000s for sharks to I don't know to the 1000s for trout I got a CI4 that has about oh, I think it's about 10 bearings in it something like that 
it's a uh, original CI4 plus 1000 and it is super super smooth it's ridiculous and I've just got this grease in it so give it a, give it a bit of a dab not too much on pat it down once you see there's probably a shiny film on that First one in. I don't like to go too heavy because if you put too much grease on, then you do lose your high end power that the carbon gives you. It's a lot smoother, but yeah, you can't get the cranking power on the drag that I like to run on when I am, say, fishing heavy snags or something like that. So the second one in. Just gonna make sure you put everything back in the same way. Obviously I've done a couple of these, so. find these reels good enough for all the fishing that I do. Two and a half thousand, I chase Mulloway and Paddo. Um, <laughs> Yellow Belly, Barrett, Hazelwood. I'm only using two and a half thousand. 15 pound braid at the most. Done. We'll just sit it on there and see how that spins now. As you can see, way smoother. It might even drop. Put a drop of oil on this bearing. Let's make that a touch extra bit smoother I went away from the sewing machine oil because this has is meant to have some rust properties we're doing a lot of fishing salt water brackish water now we'll actually take their grease off the waterproof drag knob as well I'd rather this stuff on there. It seems to be a lot smoother. The other stuff's heaps thicker, which I think now, just even, I've done just felt drag washes with this, and it, it does smoothen the drag up a lot. So what I like to do once I've fitted the drag is to put it all the way down so I can't even turn that so it's fully locked I like to run it pretty tight wear the drag in a little bit that really embeds them Gotta remember always store your reels with no drag pressure on. Sweet, that's ready for um, EPs, Dewey's, Barra, whatever. Actually, I haven't since you buying this reel. I haven't put anything in it any oil in it so this will just this will free up the whole reel make it a bit make it a bit smoother
Oh, that drag knob was loose. Also got a little port on the side that we can open. And I'll put some put a drop of oil in there. I need one or two drops. That'll actually get smoother the more you use it. All the higher bits of the carbon drag washer will start to grind down a little bit. and we'll get really, really smooth. So there's bearings in there, so I'll put a couple drops. That will actually work through, work its way through, through the handle to the bearing on the other side. Whereas the Stratic has one handle bearing and a bush on the other side so we're going to replace that get that nice and smooth too Second drill. This is the Stratic. Put them aside, you can have them back. I don't want them. So we'll clean all the grease off this. Pop the drag washes out. It's actually a slightly fatter drag washer than the Sustain. Get all that crud out. This has been used on EPs when we're fishing Gippsland for them. And yeah, he's the same as me, he likes a tight drag. You gotta, you gotta stop them before they run into the snags or they just dust you. Been smashed by a few big ones, and yeah, it's pretty hard to stop them, especially uh, on that first run. So, it took a bit of time for these new washers and bearings to come out for this reel. Usually, my man's straight onto it, but yeah, it took him a bit this time. I have already oiled this reel before the trip we went on last time, so I won't be putting any more in the handles or any stuff like that. Uh, the in where the handle attaches to the body, but I will do the handle. 
the knob and um, we'll also put some on the new bearing we're fitting under the spool. So we get that right in, get it into all the little bits of the fibre weave even though I'm going to brush it off or wipe it off. I use Biomasters for the um, for the EPs where we're fishing at the moment and I actually had to take off a fair bit of grease. I'm running them nearly dry because I need need that power to stop them. I don't like two and a half thousands for use on my one to threes. They're just they're not the right weight for for me anyway. So that's that done. We'll see how it spins. Obviously no just with no um, knob on. Clean some of this off. It's actually pretty dry, actually. Noise. I'll leave that a bit wet. You can just clamp, clamp down on that pretty hard. So, to get to the spool support bush, I'm going to remove these little spaces. And there's a tiny, tiny little Allen key there. I don't know if you can see that. We've got to get to that. And I think it's a 0 0.89 of a mil. Wow, that was uh, actually pretty loose. So, so that's the plastic bush. All your sustains biomasters have a bearing, a proper bearing. Which does help with the smooth smoothness. Just double check. External diameter is the same, internal is the same. So I will Put a drop of oil on one side. Turn it over. Drop on the other side. And we're going back on. That easy. This Allen key kit I had to get off eBay so I didn't have I got a lot of tools but I didn't have this way too small for anything that I do at work and I like pimping like the CI4s and stuff like that I probably I will get a Stella one day, but the Stellas are very heavy, and for my, I run nitros, especially the tournament rods, and they are very light, and the weight of a Stella on one of those rods throws out the balance a bit for my style, the way I like to cast, so... So I can barely turn that. 
So it's gone from maybe three kilos, I don't know, five, six, seven. So that's plenty. You'll be breaking rods before the fish is going to pull the line off that, which is good. I love that noise. Yeah, fish on. All right. Now, he pulled this handle off last time. I didn't see how he did it. But I think it just pulled off. Pop. It's the first one of these handles I've done with this, the new design. Usually it was just a, a round a round knob. You just put a little bit of wire in and pop out. That was off a of Biomaster. I changed all mine to... I've actually got Yamiga knobs on there. I like the way they feel and I got them cheap, so. Hmm. I just might take the handle off for this. So there's just a small P1 size. Um, some screw in there, I suppose, screw. Not. So there's a bearing in the outside end. So what we're replacing is the plastic bush that goes in the other end. It's starting to get dark. Hang on, I'll chuck some light on. All right, I don't know what that light's like on camera. I'm not doing not a professional, just a fucking fishing dude, so I'm trying to talk to the camera more. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, there's our plastic bush. Now he sent me an extra bearing, I don't know what it's for, but we'll just size this up. That one looks right. Yep. Same thickness, beautiful. So yeah, so there's our bearing. Chuck it on. Oil it. Oil that side. Now we do need to get this bearing onto the shaft and down because there's a bit of movement. The bearings actually center the shaft. And if you don't and you put it on, your handle will just be locked. There we go. Also, the shaft has to stick up just above the bearing when it's down. I did buy some bearings for my Saragossa 14,000s to go inside the handle to replace, but when I did add it, added it, it changed the height and then the bearing was the highest point. So when you locked it down, the handle was very stiff, which was no good. So it was slightly the wrong size. There you go, it's spinning better than before. I might even cut in a bit and show you the difference. Put another drop up there. Now the reason why I like the Yamiga knobs and the sustains have it as well, there's a seal. Now why isn't there a seal on that to stop any water getting in there? It's a bit bit piss poor there should be an o-ring or something on there because they are running a bearing standard from factory in that position so yeah why wouldn't they have it it's got me it's getting better and better as you can see there's red still in there from when i 
foiled it last time. He has used this once. It was a fair bit of fishing. Full day. EP's pulling hard. 40 centimetre size. It has loosened up, especially after the first oil. Yeah, so that's a lot better. Okay, we're spinning now. Sweet. Two reels done. That bearing, I'm pretty sure, goes in the bottom section. You can pull the, that cover off and you've got the worm drive. It's a plastic bush like that. The bearings that I've been supplied before to replace that do fit on there, but changes the height at which the spool moves up and down because the shaft height changes. So I was cutting down a bit of the plastic bush to use as a washer on the bottom section. So the top section was all bearing movement and that was just a spacer. So when the screw went in, it pulled up tight. It's a bit of stuffing around. Um, I think this will be all right for now. We'll see how it goes. I might just keep that as a spare one. But yeah, it's pretty smooth. Like I said, the drags will um, get smoother in time, especially after a few good fish and you put a bit of pressure on. A bit of oil does help. Also I like to do the roller bearing. This has no port on the roller bearing. I haven't pulled it apart. I'm guessing it's still a bearing. Um, whereas these had a port, water could get in there, but I usually nearly every couple of fishing trips I'll flush it out anyway. I'm guessing the other one is still a bearing in there. So you just put a drop in there. Got a bit of old braid. I'll wrap it around, do a loop so it's grabbing it nice. Nice and tight. And then I just work it. And then fill up the little reservoir again. And just as you spin it, you see it. It disappears down in there. Then I'll go outside, give it a spin, get all the oil out. That's done. I'm gonna spin it outside, because out of that hole, a little bit of the oil will flick out. And that's it. Two reels pimped. Wait. Um, yeah, if you got any questions, just let me know. It's all pretty straightforward. You can find all this stuff on eBay. For the spool support bearing, I just bought that. And it's the second smallest one, which is a 0.89 of a mil. Um, yeah, pretty easy. All right, cheers. Stay tuned for more fishing videos.